Grieži Raius. With your spirit. Good morning, welcome, our dear friends. Good morning, brother. Today we are here to say goodbye to our brothers and sisters. Though we feel sad that he has left us, but we rejoice in the Lord that he is enjoying the company of the Lord Jesus Christ. So today, as we come and gather to say goodbye to Remember on the day of his baptism, Christ was welcomed into the church, given new life in Christ, and clothed with the garment of salvation. Today we greet the body of our brother Chris and sound him with the church pray. We commend our brother to the mercy of God and pray that the promise made to him in baptism will be fulfilled. Let us prepare ourselves so that in a worthy manner we may celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to give us abundant life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring comfort to those who mourn. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give hope to all who believe in you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Chris, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please uh, be seated for the readings. And for the first reading, I'd like to ask uh, Jalina to come and do the first reading, please.
A reading from the book of Ecclesiastics. For everything, there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek, and a time to lose. A time to keep, and a time to throw away. A time to tear, and a time to sow. A time to keep silence, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate. A time for war, and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the second reading, Sharon, please. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God. A house is not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. So we are always confident, even though we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we do have confidence, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please him. For all of us must appear before the judgment seat of Christ, 
so that each may receive recompense for what has been done in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, to you o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will you take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. This is our uh, human uh, uh, nature. Whenever we see someone leaving us, we always feel sad. We have a lot of questions. Sometimes we love the person so much that we don't want that person to leave us. And if that person dies, the doors rise in our heart and mind, and we have a lot of questions. But as a Christian, is it okay to question? In the Gospel today, St. Thomas is questioning, Jesus is talking and letting them know that he's going to prepare a place, and he says, Lord, we do not know where you are going, how we can know the way. As a Christian, we must question. We need to know why these things are happening. Because when we question, then practically we go deeper into the Lord to know that the person who has gone is enjoying the company of the saints. This is amazing. If we read the whole Bible, the beginning of the Bible says, the book of Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 and 2, it is written, there was nothing 
and the Spirit of the Lord was hovering over the water. And the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 21 says, May the love and mercy of Jesus be with all his saints. I think this journey from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation and to our present time is the journey of God's love, God's mercy, and God's forgiveness. Today we remember our brother Chris. Of course, as I said earlier, we do feel sad. Many of you maybe were very close to him. You wanted to spend some more time. Maybe when he went back to the Lord, you are not there and you really wanted to be there. And you feel like, how come I missed his last visit? And I think whenever we reflect on the life of our brother Chris, all the memories will keep coming back. And those memories will keep reminding us that we must be grateful to the Lord for the life of our brother Chris. Last year, I was called to visit someone, and the woman lost uh, her son. Of course, she was very upset, crying. And as soon as I entered, even before I greeted her or she greeted me, the first question came, why it happened to me? And I said, I will answer your question, but let me place another question to you. Which question will be the most important for you? What it happened to him? Or why he was part of your life? I said, if you were reflect on the second question, why he was part of your life, your first question will look very small. Because when you will look at the first question, you will always have a doubt, you will have a grief, you will feel sad. But when you will reflect on the second question, why he was part of my life, you will feel strengthened. You feel strong. Why? The first, like Brother Chris, has given us so much to cherish, has helped us to understand the value of our life. He has helped us to understand the value of our families. Second, he has helped us to understand, though the life is very short, as we heard in the first reading, there is a time and the matter under the sun. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and time to uproot. A time to love, a time to hate, a time for a war, time for a peace, time to tear out and time to suit. And I think everything happens under the time. And everything, when everything runs under the time, it keeps reminding us the time we are given to live together, to cherish the memories, the cherish the presence of our family members, we should not miss. We should always be grateful that someone was part of my life. Third and the last thing, why he was part of our life will always keep reminding us to write the story of our life in a such a way that at the end of our life, 
we may, like St. Paul in the second letter to Timothy, chapter 4, proclaim, I have fought the good fight, I have won the race, I have kept the faith. And I think that should be our aim, believing and trusting in the Lord that at the end we have done what we were supposed to do. Many of you sitting as a parents, as a grandparents, you should feel proud that you have done the work you are supposed to do as a parents, as a grandparents to raise your children. You have done the work to let your children know the value of families. You help your children to understand the true meaning of faith. And I think today when we remember our brother Chris, though he's gone, but he's still with us, reminding us to cherish the memories we have with him and be grateful for the gift of our family, our siblings, our parents, grandparents, because they keep reminding us when we live together, though we are sad, Though we have pain, though we suffer, but there is someone standing and helping us. Don't worry, I'm going to be with you. As Jesus says in the gospel today, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. So let us trust in the Lord as we pray for our brother that the Lord is going to grant eternal rest to him and peace and consolation is going to come to us so that we may always remember our brother Chris is with us, he's walking with us, he's reminding us, trust in the Lord. Please rise and for the prayer of the faithful, I would like to ask Linda to come and do the prayer of the faithful, please. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church, confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus we join our praise to his as we say. In baptism, Chris received the light of Christ, scattered the darkness now, and lead him over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Chris was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome, into, welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Many friends and, f and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer unjustly, these sins against your love, and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Those who trust in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all those faith is known to you alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The family and friends of Chris seek comfort and soul, consol, consolation. Heal, heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for Chris. Strengthen our hopes that, that, so that we may live in the ex expectation of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
O God, creator and redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of your departed servants, release from all their sins. Hear our prayers for those we love and give them the pardon they have always desired. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Make me a channel of your peace Where there is hatred, let me bring your love Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord And where there's doubt, truth Please rise. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant priests, we beseech your mercy that he who did not adopt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us, one alone, he accepted death so that we might all escape from dying. As one man, he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you.
In the similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the blood of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that a partaking of the body and blood of Christ we will be gathering to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And more especially, we remember Christ, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That will bless the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, will bless the Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be called to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. God is our Father, and we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace nowadays by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, and live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Amen. And regarding the communion, just to remind you, if you have been receiving communion, you are most welcome to come and receive the communion. If not, then you can come for blessing.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Chris may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother Chris. May our farewell express our affection for him, may it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. In baptism, Chris shared in the death and resurrection of Christ. May he be welcomed into the glory of eternal life. As a sign of respect for our brother Chris, we let this incense rise to God, who has called him to, the, to share in his glory.
Into your hands, Father, mercies, uh, we command our brother Chris in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, you will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Chris in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain to comfort one another with the assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people cry out to you in their need, and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Please rise for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Amen. The loving Father, continue to bless, protect, and heal you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Snake.